All right, welcome back to Bears Talk. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. This is uh, NFL. We're going to run down some uh, different topics here. We're in the middle of the offseason. Congrats to the Bucks on winning their, uh, their Super Bowl championship. Tom Brady got number seven. We're here in the middle of, uh, well, free agents actually, free agency is about to start soon. We're, we're getting into franchise tagging. And we have a few quarterbacks that are kind of upset with, with their current situation. So, so guys, I got a question for you here. Um, Russell Wilson has been kind of bitching and moaning about his situation. Do you think that's okay for a quarterback to come out um, and, and, you know, a pretty much a winning franchise like Seattle and kind of call out, uh, you know, his bosses above him. So what, what do you think about that? Uh, yes, I do it all the time. <laughs> I do. I, I have the most to say in all our meetings. Uh, I always have issues with upper management. I mean, I, I don't blame him. I thought you loved him. Me? Yeah. This is just for the show, man. I got to, you know, do some oh, different opinions here. I have no but issue with Russell. it because, because if you don't, I mean, I know it was public, but I feel like sometimes you have to take certain measures to get something done. And in his case, he's not happy with the offensive line. Maybe he's gone behind the scenes 15 times over the last couple of years and nothing's been done. So he's like, yeah, somebody's asking me, I'm annoyed. So I'm just going to speak, speak about how I feel. Maybe they'll do something. I don't think he's going to get traded, you know, but, but yeah, I have no issue with it in this. I think he deserves to be able to say whatever he wants. I agree. He's earned that, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I think Russell. it depends on who it is, you know. And like Steve said, he's been – he's like the most sacked quarterback in the league, like this season and the other past seasons. So he does have a complaint to let ownership and general management know, like they need to make some moves on the line. So you were okay with him coming out publicly and saying that on a – I don't I can't remember if it was a podcast or a radio show or something – yeah, I am. And I feel like that's the new way for sports, for athletes. It's just like they're the voice and like they're the face of their own brand. So it's to let the ownership know, like, we got to do this now to win. Like, we can't let Brady get eight rings while I'm at one. Like, I want to get one, too. Yeah, and he, he's in the middle of his prime right now. And like you said, most sack quarterback in the league, they got to protect him. And the dude can play, so... Hey, if you don't take care of your uh, your star quarterback, starts demanding a trade in today's NFL, it, it could happen. I think the yeah. the general manager got a lot of calls about, hey, what do I have to give you to get to get Russell on my team? And with a guy like him or Deshaun, I think, you know, even if they're saying we're not going to trade him, sometimes, man, it's 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 like almost like fantasy sports, right? If you get this unbelievable offer. You know, like you, you just never can, you can never say no, because what if some team comes along and just offers you their three best players and three first round draft picks and two second rounders, like, you know, you got to make, make these teams think. So I, I think he deserves to be able to say it. I think if it was like, you know, Herbert or Joe Burrow or somebody, you'd be like, shut up. You're like a, a rookie. Like you can't, you know, or like Baker Mayfield when he first came in the league, you know, talk, 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 talk. And then this this past season, he wasn't really like that. He he had a pretty good season and they, you know, they competed in the playoffs. So it just depends who it is. So true. Yeah. So how about the Steelers? Is it time to move off Big Ben? Go yes, it, and we all me. nodding yes. <laughs> yeah, isn't his isn't his uh, if he if they keep him, it doesn't he cost like forty million this year? Yeah, around yeah. there. I was gonna say over thirty, but I believe it's forty. Yeah, he costs more than he weighs. Like, dude, <laughs> he he's just he's he's yeah. They can't they can't keep him at that price. Dude, that roster's loaded too. <laughs> they got weapons. Yeah. See, but Juju a, might leave. He might go else, elsewhere. So he's a free agent, right? Yes, sir. 
And okay. I was talking to the Raiders. I tweet into him. Oh, that wouldn't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> what, about the, what about the Chargers? Bring them back home. That's true. I don't know. I haven't seen any reports. I just me either. Yeah, you know, I'd be interested. Free agents sometimes they want to be back. If I was a free agent, I'd want to play in either LA team. It's do do the Robert Woods. It's like it's like eighty degrees out here in February. Yeah, we're having nice weather. To anyone not watching here, so have the quarterbacks. I'm sorry, have, have the Dallas Cowboys completely screwed up this DAC negotiation because they've waited so long to get this guy a deal. And now he's sitting here. He could get franchise tagged for like $35 million or something. Yeah, it'll be the second time, the last time they can tag him. So the, the, he, Jerry Jones blew it, right? For as great as a businessman as he is, he can't run a football team. Yeah, I don't get why he would pay – I almost called him Emmett Smith, Zeke, all that money <laughs> or some of these other guys. And then, and I'm not big on like, I, we've gone over this before. I don't know if it was on a show, but you know, the, the, the numbers of when you pay a QB, you know, a certain amount of money, they usually don't win the Super Bowl. Um, but as a bears fan, I'm like, man, pay whatever you got to pay. If you can get Dak or Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson, man, like I would do so much as a fan to get one of those guys. So I don't know what what they think they would do if they didn't sign that guy long term. You know, it's so hard to find a great. Well, now he's probably going to leave. So they're going to reset. So you, you don't think they'll franchise him again? This is the last year they can do it, right? Yeah, so you think they'll do that and then he'll be gone after this season? I do. Because yeah, then he's that's... he's then he's unrestricted. Right. Okay. Then he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. What do you think, Julian? You think they I just feel like you guys say Cowboys are playing too many games. They're playing a lot of games with it, stalling. And it's all for no like it's for what? Because like people players were complaining after his injury that they should have gave him that contract then. So it seemed like they would have realized, like, okay, we have a great quarterback, especially after the season ended. They had a horrible season, especially when, once Dak went out, went yeah. down. Like, they were bad before, but they were horrible after. So it just seems like Steven and Jerry would know, like, that's their guy. And quarterbacks are – they're hard to find in the league right now. Good. Yeah, quarterback. you can't just bring and draft one in, you know – uh, they don't they don't make a lot of Dak Prescotts. The guy plays every game. He, he's mobile. I mean, I know people have been critical of him, but I, I'm a fan, so I think they screwed it up. Yeah, um, if they franchise him again, which they probably will, I think he's gone the next – unless they work out some deal during. But, you know, the, the players don't like getting franchise tag. Um, I get it from a team perspective, but, man, from like an optics point of view – like, as you know, people are like, there's nobody that's saying don't don't bring him back, you know. Yeah. Long term. Yeah, you guys are right. That'd be interesting to see where Dak lands up outside of yeah. Cowboys jersey. I didn't think about that. Come to Chicago. Right. <laughs> Put it out there. <laughs> we can't do this show without talking about Deshaun. I've changed my whole tune though. Have you? Not that I don't want him. I do want him, but I actually. But now, now you think it's. He, I think he should have never came out and said this. No, I think he should have. First of all, I've actually never heard him say it. It's always like reports. Yeah, I saw exactly. Shannon Sharp said he said it. Yeah, I've never actually seen a a, a clip where he's like, "Get Gosh. me out of here." So no, I have this... no, I have no problem with him saying, or behind the scenes that he wants out. I have. I obviously want him as a Bears fan. I don't think they're going to trade him. So I, oh, I, I, okay. I think, I think he's going to sit out. I think they're not going to trade him uh, to start the season. He's going to be on the Texans roster and I think he's going to sit out. Mm-hmm. I think they'll eventually trade him, but I think week one, week two, week three, he's, he's on the Texans. And I think they're going to do it so backwards, you know, because his trade value will go down, not because he's still not one of the top three QBs, but because teams will have already drafted, right? 
the Jets will have drafted Wilson. Somebody will have drafted uh, Fields. All these guys. So teams that you could have gotten so much from, you're probably not going to get that anymore. Well, look, look what the Rams do. They're aggressive in trading. They, they make things happen. You know, they don't let guys value dip. They know exactly what their plan was getting Matt Stafford going into free agency. So, yeah, it doesn't look like they are going to move him. Um, the Texans, man, they're just a mess. They stink. Nobody even wanted to be the head coach there. I know, Literally, man. They couldn't actually, even hire anyone. I feel bad for that dude that they got, man. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, they're gonna. I think Ryan Leal was applying. Could have got the position, bro. <laughs> oh man, they're gonna be so bad. No free agents want to go fly. there. <laughs> they have no. They have no first round draft pick. Like, dude, JJ Watt wants out now. Oh yeah, oh, he's yeah. gone. We gotta talk. Where's he going? That's People, are, my my buddy said the Bears, and I love JJ Watt. But man, unless it's a really cheap deal he's just too injury prone man yeah maybe the Steelers with his brothers tj yeah. they're saying the packers packers hey uh, the titans man that's where he's coming Ooh. Yeah, stay stay in the division that would be nice he doesn't That'd have to go too far to torment the 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 texans clowny and watt again reunited on the line. Put, a, put a big hit on carson wentz Ooh. oh gosh oh yeah we didn't talk about that yeah you guys feel like they're a Super Bowl contender? No. The Colts. Uh, I do. Yeah, actually, I believe they're they're one of the best teams in the AFC right now. Okay. They they had everything on that roster but a quarterback. They have a great coach. When Wentz had his best season, uh, he was under Frank Reich. So yeah, I think they're they're definitely uh, up there in the AFC. I would put them up there with no, nobody's on the Chiefs level, but they're right below that. I think with the rest of like. Um, you know, the Bills and maybe Baltimore, something like that. For me, I'm just waiting and see. I think uh, where he went was the best possible scenario for him. Um, if he went anywhere else, I don't think it would have been good. I think, I actually think the Colts, it was a great deal for them. They didn't give up a ton. Uh, so for me, it's just wait and see. He could, he could ball out. You know, they have a great O-line. Uh, they have a solid running game. Um, so, yeah, it just depends. I, gu I guess I guess they got a great defense. I mean, they're, they're contenders, you know. What do you think, Julian? True. I'll say they're contenders. I wouldn't put them in the Super Bowl contention race. Yeah, not it's yet. It's obviously like a playoff or bust year for them since they made it last year and lost, had a play, was a play away from tying it up. Yeah, that's true. They were. The running game is good, too. It is. J Jonathan Taylor burst onto the scene. Late, exactly, at the right time. Uh, another quick uh, story I saw. You got like uh, nine or so. 90 seconds. Sorry. Oh, okay. This, Go for it. No, it was just the stupid hire by Urban Meyer, the guy that – Oh, like, yeah. What is that, man? And then they let him go the next day. It's funny that <laughs> – <laughs> the way you do things now, right? Like you think it's a good decision, but then literally Twitter just destroys you. And then you're like, oh, we got to fire this dude. Yeah. 15 years ago, he's not getting fired. He's yeah, on the squad. True. Everything is going to be done via, you know, uh, news reporters, interviews, sports center. Now, man, one bad thing, you make a mistake. You got to, you got to clean it up real fast. You know, so he literally he was like, yeah, this is a good move. And then they're like, no, everybody hates this. He's out. Which good. I'm, I'm glad. Like, but why hire the clown in the first place? Exactly. So. Oh, that was a funny story. We can get, yeah. I don't care if we go over. I could talk football all day. No, I think we should wrap it up, man. All right. Just because I think we got stuff to do today. Yeah. You know, we're not getting paid for this yet, guys. So our time's valuable here. <laughs> yeah. God, All right. Much. We got, we got, we got 20 seconds left. Uh, okay. Who's winning the Super Bowl? No, <laughs> we're out. Have a, have a good week. Everybody. All right. Stay safe. Everyone. All right.